This is the train station in Rome. There are trains coming and going all day, all night long. If you look at the top here, you'll see that this is Venezia. Uh, that's Venice. And that's where I was going. Uh, from Rome, it's three and a half hours on the, um, on the fast train. But you know, uh, there are so many people uh, in, the, in this train uh, station. Uh, that you got to be careful for pickpockets and what have you. And you get on the right train. Can you see there's probably 20 train tracks and a lot of times the train shows up 15 minutes before it's going to depart. So you got to be real, real aware of what is your train track uh, and uh, be ready to get on because they don't wait. Uh, if you don't make it, you 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 lose. But I I knew where I was going. I watched myself so I didn't have to deal with any kind of pickpocket or anything. You hear about that all the time, about the pickpockets in Rome, or the pickpockets at the airport or at the train terminal is where they like to hang out. But you know, I um, I got on the train. I found my train. I got on. And then I relaxed, and next thing you know, I was in Venice. There you can see it, it's comfortable. Uh, it was full. Uh, I had a specific seat to sit at because uh, I bought the ticket, oh, maybe six weeks while I was still in Thailand, and I just printed out my boarding pass and got on the train. Here I am smiling knowing I'm going to Venice, the most beautiful city in Italy. And um, I was pretty tired uh, from dragging my backpack, which wasn't that heavy, and my backpack with my computer and my tablets, which was very heavy. Uh, so it really took all the energy I had to get from one place to another. Now, this is not Venice. This is a suburb where I stayed. I stayed at Airbnb locations. They're really great. You can make a reservation. You can read the reviews of the people who had been at that particular Airbnb. And what's nice is you're actually in someone's home. They're renting a room, and uh, you can use the kitchen. It really is much more comfortable and much more um, cost-effective than just renting a hotel. This particular place was 20 minutes by train to Venice, and the woman that ran this was very professional. It was like a five-star hotel where I got breakfast every day, the room was lovely, the bed was new. Uh, I couldn't have picked a better place. Everywhere you go, you're going to see a square. This is a, a, a square, and I can't remember the name of the town right now because I'm on medication and my memory is a little bit shot. But um, again, you think this might be Venice. No, it's the particular place uh, where I stayed. And um, you can see, oh, here's Venice. This was my first day in Venice. And I took the train. It took about 20 minutes to get to Venice. Uh, now, Venice is about three and a half hours north of Rome. So it's still kind of cold. And I was wearing everything I had, all my clothes, because I don't have much cold uh, weather clothes since I live in a tropical climate. Now you're going to see there are there are wonderful bridges. There are lovely bridges everywhere. You get across the bridge all the time to get from one place to another. And yes, I'm walking with a cane. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble walking, and um, that didn't seem to really uh, because there's a lot of steps. I mean, there's a lot of steps in Rome. There's a lot of steps in Venice. But the nice part of it is that um, there's a railing you can hold on to. And you can 
when you're climbing or going down, it, it, it stabilizes you. And with a cane, I had no problem. Uh, drop dead gorgeous. Everywhere you look, it's just beautiful. And I wish I was there in the summertime, but um, I chose to go off season thinking there wouldn't be that many people. The crowds would be small. Now that was a that was the view from a bridge, and as I said, everywhere you look, it's just drop dead gorgeous, as you will see. What to say? Uh, there are nooks and crannies and little alleyways uh, that you walk through, and you see there's another bridge right here. Um, but every turn, it's a picture postcard of beauty. Imagine getting up, getting out of the house, and just hopping on a boat to get to work. Because that's exactly what everyone has to do. There, there are no roads. It's all canals. And, you know, because of the ice, the ice caps are melting, the water is rising here. And at some point, it's going to take over this beautiful city, and it's going to be gone. But hopefully that's not for another 20 or 30 years, or at least another couple of visits that I go back and see it again. Everybody, everybody loves Venice. And this was supposed to be off-season, but there were massive crowds filling these narrow streets wherever I went. And because I have a little trouble walking, and I've got a cane, and it's basically bumper to bumper people, push and shove, what have you, this was the part of the trip that I really, really didn't enjoy. But I really did love Venice. He's an interesting guy. This guy is a con man. He is stealing people's money. He is playing the oldest scam in the book. He has two people working with him, and they seem to win. So you think that it's easy, and you, and you think you can do it. But you can't. It's impossible to win. This is called the three card Monty. You look at it, you sure you see where it is, you put your money up, and what he does, he, with sleight of hand, like a magician, he moves the card where, from another spot from where you picked. Um, people were playing this for 50 euros at a clip, and 50 euros is about $70. And uh, I know this because when I was 20 years old uh, in New York City, I got sucked into this uh, game for 20 bucks. And it really stung. I really didn't like it, but I never did it again. But it was an, enjoyable to see how this guy works. He was very professional. And he really didn't like me taking his picture. He, um, he, he really frowned on that. I thought he was going to come over and, and whack me, but he didn't. This is a view just from another bridge. Everywhere you turn, there's a bridge, there's a view, there's water, there's a boat, there's the canal. Now, when I bought my, um, I bought my train ticket from Venice to Naples, the woman uh, gave me a, a recommendation on a restaurant that was supposed to be inexpensive because Venice in all of Europe is very expensive it's about 20 times more money than it is here in Thailand and with the exchange rate not being so good you really really pay a lot so she told me it was about a 15 minute walk to get to this particular takeaway uh, restaurant but for me a 15 minute walk could be anywhere between 35 to 50 minutes because I walk slow and um, I use the cane but I my goal was to find this place because again I didn't want to spend a lot of money I was getting hungry so it took me an hour and a half to wind through these 
little uh, streets uh, going over a number of bridges asking people for directions because it wasn't all that clear but I finally found it and the food was just delightful I really enjoyed it 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 was seven euros which is about 12 bucks for a little cup of food but I I really did like it started eating the food it was delicious it and it was somewhat inexpensive comparing everything else um, the I was eating basically uh, marinated soft chunks of meat in a very tasty sauce and I could have eaten five of them but you know I think I ate two different ones one was uh, a seafood a deep fried seafood and then this beef thing but you know I'm sitting out there I'm cold and you see the people in the background they're sitting out there like it's summertime and not really concerned about the weather at all but um, that was an issue for me I didn't even have a hat you see the hat I'm wearing that little hat I got that in in Rome it was uh, a dollar and it really helped keep me warm now I notice that I'm starting to get so out of out of seven days of being in Venice, I only went to town three times, and that's why I don't have a lot of pictures. But I needed to stay uh, at the Airbnb and, and rest. And now I notice I'm I'm, I'm starting to get sick. Um, I had the chills, and no matter how many blankets I put on, I coughed half the night. Um, I just had no energy. I thought I had pneumonia, walking pneumonia. But as you'll learn later on, that was not what it was at all. Well, you got to really pay attention when you travel because tomorrow was April the 5th and I had a reservation uh, for five days in Naples. I was organized. I had my train ticket, which was 43 euros, and I thought that was a little bit expensive, but um, that's what it was. And I scheduled the trip for two, I scheduled that trip for 21 days in advance. And if if you did, I, I mean, if I scheduled it for 21 days in advance, it would have been 18 euros and 60 cents, which I thought would have been very reasonable. The trains in Europe are the best. I mean, they're way better than taking an airplane because they're in town. You don't have to get to the airport. You don't have to worry about how heavy your bag is. Will it fit underneath? Will they charge you 45 euros to put it under the plane if it's too big or too heavy? Um, but again, I was organized. I had perfect timing as I walked to the train station. The train was pulling up, so I got on, and three stops later, I would catch the train to Naples, which was a five-and-a-half-hour ride. I read the sign wrong, and I got off at the wrong stop, and I missed my train. And I'll tell you more about that in the next slide.